visit ticketcompare.com. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. Ticketcompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. I think, you know, to, to have any chance of beating Madrid, you know, the, the front three of which I don't think there are better front three in club football in the world. But I know there isn't because a lot of teams only, some play with one, some play with two. So a lot don't really play with three, not the, of the top teams. So, yeah, I think um, they, would, they will have to be fine because the other thing as well as well is, you know, the, the pressing game which they play and play extremely well at... I'm not sure whether you can press uh, Cruz, Modric, Isco. They can play one-touch football. So that I find that it's going to be a really fascinating part of the game at the weekend. I just I, I have a feeling with Liverpool after watching them all the season in the Champions League that when they've needed something to happen, it's happened. Um, Roma at home, Carrius made, almost made a massive blunder. The ball went squirm through his hands, through his gloves, sorry, and hit hit the bar if that goes in it was nil-nil and you're thinking whoa Roma with an away goal little bit of luck against Manchester City away from home they scored it perfectly good second goal City was disallowed so sometimes I get a feeling as a player that you know things are happening the ball's running I just think Liverpool will win and then you know by hook or by crook I just have this feeling and um, I'm not you know when Liverpool play I'm always a bit like whoa but I just there's something in me that just says they're actually going to win this competition. I don't know how, though. Yeah. If they, was, they, if they were 7 0 up, I'd still feel worried. Um, how are they going to counter that against Madrid? Well, yeah, very, very, very good question. I think, you know, listen, one thing about Madrid is, is they'll pour forward and, and they, they can leave themselves quite open. But it is, it's, it's, it's the way it is with Liverpool, and I do think if they do win, it won't be the easy way. Well, I don't think we'll be talking about 2 0 and they score in the 28th and the 72nd minute because it's Liverpool and that's the way that they do things. But um, I, just, I just do think that they'll win it. And I think the thing with Madrid is that um, as, as good a side as they are, and not obviously been as good as the last couple of years, but still very, very good side. I was talking about, I mean, you know, if you were a top European team, who would you take from Madrid's team? Um, well, maybe Bale, maybe Ronaldo, maybe Cruz, maybe Modric, Isca, you know, Benzema. I mean, um, yeah, so I think the thing with them is that they are also good at actually stopping teams playing, but not kind of, if it makes any sense, in a de- defensive way. Just as in, if people get a bit of momentum against them, they're very good at like buying fouls, falling over, taking the time, that whole kind of disruptive thing. And listen, it's part and parcel of the way that they play. And if it gets them the third win, I mean, who are we to say so? But that's not something that, that Liverpool have. I mean, Liverpool are just, they're all extremely honest. All the players you take home to meet your mother, I'm not necessarily thinking that you take most of the, most of the Madrid players home to, to meet your mother. In fact, you wouldn't. But that's, listen, that's probably why they're going for three and three, to be honest with you. Well, I think I get the impression. I, I kind of look at Salah like I'd look at Harry Kane maybe at Tottenham and, and that really would be that he, he doesn't seem the type of guy that would, would go or would certainly not go yet. Um, you know, he's had a fantastic season. I think he likes playing for Liverpool. I think he likes the manager. The supporters absolutely love him. Would he want to go and earn another under grand a week? Um, listen, may, maybe, maybe he does. I, you know, we don't know what's inside his head. I just get the impression that I think, if anything, he'll be there for at least one more year. But, hey, it is what it is. I mean, you know, look at Liverpool. Uh, Torres left. Suarez left. Um, Coutinho left. Now, oh, they're irreplaceable. Nobody's irreplaceable.